Okay, that's great. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Hang on, I'll just check. I've got Father Christmas on the phone. He wants to know which list I should put you on. Nice, naughty, Bernardo's. You promised to get an inflatable Santa for the front garden. And you didn't. Well, Daddy tried his best, but the shops were sold out. Well, fear not, family, because I've just been on the phone to Toys Are Here. They had one inflatable Santa left in stock, and I've just bought it. <laughs> Hooray! Oh, well done. You stay with the kids, I'll go and collect it. Thanks, Mummy! Oh, hang on. <laughs> I promised those little useful faces that I would get them an inflatable Santa, and that is what I will do. But I've got loads of last-minute Christmas cards to deliver. Well, I can do that. It'll mean talking to some of the mums from the playground. <laughs> All right, we'll both go. Ask your mum and dad to look after the kids for an hour, they'll be free. How do you know? Trust me, anyone who writes buy soft mints on a calendar hasn't got a lot on. <laughs> What do you think? Amazing. I wouldn't have recognised you, Geoffrey. <laughs> Gap having their end of season sale, are they? I meant what I said on the phone, Lucy. One hour, absolute tops. The Golf Club Christmas Eve fancy dress lunch is the biggest social event of the year, and I don't want to be late. Can you guess who Grandad's supposed to be? Have you ever seen the film A Christmas Carol? Oh, your thingy! Bob, what's his name? Molly. <laughs> That's right, Lee. And the noted Dickensian character, Bob Marley. <laughs> it's Cratchit. Oh, don't be hard on yourself, Geoffrey. You've done your best. <laughs> One hour, max. You should be wearing those trousers lower down on your bum, Geoffrey. Get with it. Did you get it? <laughs> one inflatable Santa. Last one in the shop. <laughs> Think of their little faces when they see it. Thinking of your little face after you've spent three hours blowing it up. <laughs> you go red blowing on your cocoa. Santa inflates himself, actually. Oh, there's an image. Mm, well, I could do that. It'd be Christmas every day. <laughs> Did you manage to deliver all your cards? Just about. Leaving it a bit late this year, weren't you? Yeah. Imagine leaving things so last minute, hey? <laughs> it's not really my thing. Well, maybe it's not for you. Maybe I'm having an affair with another woman. Well, it won't be after you give her that. <laughs> I like this one. Maybe I should look away for a few minutes? If you like. Can I borrow your credit card? <laughs> Where's yours? Sorry, I left my phone and wallet at home. Didn't you need ID to collect Santa? No, luckily the shop just needed my name, first line of address, and a heavy dose of swearing. Am I supposed to wrap it for you, too? There's no point me wrapping it, you know what it is. <laughs> Where's the bag gone? What? I just put my stuff in your shopping bag and it's gone. My purse and phone! Santa! <laughs> Do you think I'm going to let a plastic barrier stop me from getting my children their Santa Claus back? Hello? I'm so sorry to trouble you, but we appear to have misplaced our ticket. Would you be ever so kind and let us out, please? You tell him, Starsky. <laughs> this is stupid. We can just cancel my credit cards and phone and buy another Santa. Everywhere's sold out. The easiest staying up all night with a net and catching the real one. All right, well, find a phone box, call the police and tell them their registration number. C-E-88-Y-K-H. I'll easily remember that. No chance. C-E, Christmas Eve. We don't need the police. 88, the number of times I told you to sort out that bloody inflatable Santa. Nobody steals Father Christmas on my watch. Y-K-H, you knobhead. I 
the time the police are involved, that inflatable Santa will be halfway across Europe with his serial number changed. What do you think they're going to do with it? Sell it as a cut and shop with the bottom half of the Easter Bunny? <laughs> and even if we do catch up with them, then what? They might attack us. They'll soon back off when they see who they're dealing with. Talking about you. <laughs> Where the hell are they? I said an hour, Max. The golf club will be serving the starters, you know. Have you tried phoning Lucy? Well, of course I have. No answer. What about Lee? Yes. Stupid idiot's left his phone here. Any more questions? Yes. Why are you dressed as the cat in the hat? It's obviously genetic. <laughs> I don't know. We're certainly not in Kansas anymore. That was Dorothy's line. Shouldn't you be the scarecrow? You know, the one who didn't I got have... it. <laughs> We're pulling in. Do you think they live here? Of course they don't live here. They're not voles. So why are they stopping? Christmas Eve 88, you know, bed. Christmas Eve 88, you know, bed. Christmas Eve 88, you know. All right. <laughs> I think he went behind that bush over there. Be careful, Lee. Well, don't worry. I'm not scared. Oh. Ah. <laughs> you following me? No. We always come here on Christmas Eve. Where we met. We were dogging. <laughs> I know you're following me, that's why I led you here instead of to my place. Didn't want you knowing where I lived, did I? Look, we don't want any trouble. Oh, don't worry. No trouble. But I've seen the error of my ways. So how about this? I give you your stuff back, and we agree to forget about the old thing. You had me at boo. <laughs> Where's my person phone? Oh, my mate's still got them in his car. I thought you'd seen the error of your ways. The, the error of my ways was not getting away before you saw me. I'm still a thief. I just got no use for that. Don't worry, Lee. We've got his mate's reg number. Yes, we have. C-E-H-E-A-Y-D-H. -E -E Y-K-H. It's Nobed, not Dickhead. <laughs> oh, oh, no, they won't trace that back to us. No, stolen. Yeah, that's what we do, you see. Steal cars. It's amazing how easy it is, actually. Especially when people leave the keys in the ignition. <laughs> well, this has got Santa back for the kids. And how do you propose we're going to get it to them? With no phone, no credit card, no money and no car? There's a phone box. Well, I hope Superman's in there. <laughs> I mean, if anything, the cream's actually making it itchier. We're on! <laughs> well... <laughs> here we go. The one you've all been waiting for, the big live performance. There's no room for mistakes, slip-ups or... Forgetting lines. Forgetting lines. <laughs> Will we remember not to swear? Will we forget our cues? <laughs> I thought for a moment you were actually going to swear then. <sighs> I'm not a complete twat. <laughs> so, we hope you enjoy our live Christmas spectacular. That's our Walton School Ding Dong Merrily on Live Christmas Spectacular, taking place in the School Hall Theatre this Friday at 9pm. And that is a ciabatta. <laughs> you mean rap? Yeah, well, I'm quite middle class now. <laughs> right. Let's get this video on Facebook and we'll shift those last few tickets. I'm really worried about this show. Oh, it'll be fine. Lots of local mums and dads getting up to sing a song or do an act. Be like Britain's Got Talent. But where no one's got any actual talent. Exactly. It'd be like Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> Why did you agree to it? What could I say? The headmaster asked me to do it. It's for charity. I felt obliged to say yes. Do you want to finish that sentence? All right, I felt obliged to say yes. I'll get Lucy to organise it. <laughs> oh, 
come on, you love putting things on. I've seen you in clothes shops. <laughs> the thought of a live show terrifies me. What if it's a, 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 a what if it's a disaster? I'm going to look really stupid. No, I think you carried it off quite well then. <laughs> it's, uh... No, everything will be fine. It's a Christmas show. You can get away with any old rubbish on a Christmas show. <laughs> You're just having a few last-minute nerves. Well, I'm not the only one. All the decent acts are pulling out. Oh. The escapologist cancelled this morning. I knew he'd managed to wriggle out of it. <laughs> Another act forgot to put it in his diary. Which one? The memory man. <laughs> what about the mime artist? I haven't heard anything from him. Oh, well, we've still got Clyde, the animal impersonator. He apparently does a different impression for each one of Santa's reindeer. Well, his drunk and red nose will come in handy. <laughs> Shame the other reindeer aren't called Wobbler, Dribbler, Shirt Stainer and Farter. Well, you could always get up there. I've heard you singing and rocking around the Christmas tree in the shower. No chance. No one is hearing me sing. Oh, they'll be too busy watching you have a shower. <laughs> I'm not getting on that stage. This is all your fault. Why don't you show off your party trick? Last turkey in Tesco's. <laughs> I wish I'd never taken you to puppetry of the penis. <laughs> I mean the juggling. Oh, that was just something stupid I once learned when I needed some extra cash. It was either busking or donating to the sperm bank. <laughs> it's hard to imagine you performing with a hat on the floor. Oh, no, they give you a test tube. <laughs> what are we going to do, Lee? <laughs> oh, Mum, please say you've changed your mind and you're going to perform in the show. Of course not. But I have found a way to help with the quick costume changes. Watch this. <laughs> How did you manage that? That would be telling. Don't tell me you've got a twin sister you never told us about. <laughs> obviously, uh, <laughs> obviously not an identical twin sister. Dad, what about you doing a bit in the show? Remember when I was little, I used to do that ventriloquism routine? Absolutely not. Brilliant, Geoffrey. I couldn't see your lips moving at all. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lucy. I'll stick to helping your mother backstage and keep my involvement with Ding Dong Merrily on live to a minimum. I do not wish to have my dong dinged. <laughs> Merrily or otherwise. I can't quite believe I just said that out loud. <laughs> the laughing stock of the playground. Oh, it'll be fine. We've still got Anna and Toby doing the big finale. We're not doing it. What? We're not doing the song. But you agreed. No, Toby agreed without consulting me. You're always telling me to show more initiative. Yes, but only when I tell you to. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't help that you asked us to learn the most difficult song ever written. It's not that difficult. It's a list of all the elements in the periodic table. <laughs> Set to a Gilbert and Sullivan tune. And then speed it up. There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium. Maybe I should have given you Winter Wonderland. <laughs> Anna could bring her own frost. I'm sorry, Lucy. We tried. We really did. But you're just going to have to find someone else to close your show. Great. Well, I'd better go and start searching then, hadn't I? It's ironic, I suppose. Boys, having to search for a star at Christmas. <laughs> you can put the laughs on afterwards. <laughs> no, we can't. This show's going to be a disaster. Maybe you are going to have to sing. <laughs> I told you, I'm not getting on that stage. And anyway, that would only add three minutes. Oh, I don't know. I'm sure it'd seem a lot longer. <laughs> exactly. That's why I've decided to throw money at the problem and book a professional act to close the show. An opera singer? I don't think our audience is opera, Lucy. Well, what's our audience? Oh, you know, dancing dogs, unicycling, rock ballads, KFC bargain buckets, the cheeky Nando's, Holby City, Cadbury's mini rolls, custard pie fights, curly whirlies, chuppa chups, John Lewis Christmas ads, but not actually shopping there, wafting the duvet after passing wind and watching people remember difficult monologues. <laughs> I don't know why they're clapping, it's written down over there. <laughs> so, uh, hey! I've got it! 
thrower. A knife thrower? Yes. The audience love a bit of jeopardy. That's why they watch these live shows, hoping something will go wrong. Uh, sadists, I believe they're called. <laughs> Google one now. A knife thrower with last minute availability. What could possibly go wrong? I'm guessing you're here to read the meter. <laughs> no, I am the astonishing Juan. I am the knife thrower. Yeah, I know, it was a joke. <laughs> Stick around, there might be another one. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, I uh, cut myself shaving. It's not a great start, is it? <laughs> so the first question is, are you any good? I don't know what's more impressive, hitting it from that distance or finding a fly in the house when it's actually the middle of December. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> don't start buzzing, he might pin you to the wall. <laughs> well, we certainly wouldn't want that, would we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lucy. Mm, I am Juan. <laughs> Are you here to read the meter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, so it's funny when she says it. <laughs> well, thanks for coming to see us at such short notice. I am sorry. I cannot appear in your show. There is no point. Why? Whatever I did would be overshadowed by your beauty. Oh. <laughs> How utterly charming. Mm, you can start buzzing now. <laughs> it's OK. We do a deal. I will perform for you on one condition. You will become my beautiful assistant. Oh, well, I suppose that's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I thought you didn't want to get on the stage. And we haven't interviewed him yet. We don't know he's any good. He just nailed a fly to the wall. Well, the fly was probably in on it. <laughs> and anyway, aren't knife throwers supposed to come with their own assistants? It's true. I did used to have my own assistant. But what happened to her? It was a tragedy. Mm. Don't tell me. A fly landed on her nose and you couldn't help yourself. No. She fell in love with me. The same happened with the assistant before that. And the one before that. And the one before that. And the one before that. I try to tell them I prefer to keep things professional. All oh, right, You prefer to pay for it. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very much for coming. We'll let you know. Uh, excuse me. I think you'll find I'm the one booking the acts. Look, if it's a big finale you're after, what about my egg juggling? I thought you didn't want to be in the show. Yeah, well, I've changed my mind. Well, what about the Jeopardy you wanted? His act risks violent death, yours risks an omelette. If it is juggling that you want, I too can juggle, but with four eggs. <laughs> I thought you were a knife thrower, not a juggler. Mm -hmm. I have many performance skills. There is no single word for what I am. Oh, please let me. <laughs> four eggs, you say? Well, I too can juggle with four. <laughs> Very impressive, my friend. But I can do five. So? I can do six. Six eggs? Yes. Show me. <laughs> can I keep them in the box? We're booking him. You can have that for your paella.
Well, that wouldn't have happened if somebody knew how to park in a bay properly. Some idiot shouldn't be allowed behind the wheel of a... Hello. I'll be more careful. Or is next time you'll be parking over there? Well, that's a disabled space. It's a threat. I get it. <laughs> well, as long as you're OK. Oh, yeah, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Oh, God. <coughs> Are you OK? Oh, I'm fine. It was only a little bump. Yeah, so was that a few months ago. Now you can barely walk. Are you sure it's all right? By it, you mean our baby. Okay, all right. I told you, it's not as easy to bond at this stage when you're the father. It's all right for you, carrying it around all the time for nine months everywhere you go, feeling it kicking you all the time. Yeah, I appreciate it, Drew, the long straw. Just go and pick your dad up. Oh, and while you're in there, can you get me some Vagisil? I beg your pardon? Vagisil. What the hell is that? What does it sound like? Uh, character from Game of Thrones? It is a cream for intimate feminine relief. I might need it after the baby comes. I'm not asking for that, my love. Great. I have to come with you then, won't I? Why are you bringing the birthing bag? This baby is due any minute. This bag stays by my side at all times. We're going to a department store, not on safari. <laughs> I'd ask for this cream if it had a proper name. Like what? I don't know, Thrush Blaster 2000. <laughs> OK. I'll meet you in the gift wrap department in a sec. Oh, and do us a favour, Daisy. Don't say anything to Lee's dad about Christmas Day tomorrow. He doesn't know. No, he knows it's Christmas Day. He just doesn't know you're joining us for lunch. OK, bye. There's still time to invite him, you know. There's still time to put a sprig of ollie on me now to serve him up as a plum pudding. Doesn't mean I'm going to do it. I think you need to start giving him a chance. I've been giving him a chance my whole life. Yeah, it's all right for you. You were brought up properly. Your parents made you the sweet, well-adjusted, slightly anxious, neurotic, borderline OCD control freak that I love. <laughs> but my upbringing was different. And Q Hovis music. You know what my dad was like? He was hardly around. Look. Just because your dad wasn't exactly perfect, it doesn't mean you won't be. Anyway, he's making a real effort lately. He's got this job. You know, maybe becoming a grandparent is making him want to gain some self-respect and dignity. Merry Christmas, son. <laughs> well, hurry up, Dad, and get changed. I don't want people seeing you in the car dressed like a pornographic hobbit. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, hi. Brought Lee to visit Santa, have you, Lucy? Santa's just left, but uh, you can sit on my knee if you like, love. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Toby and Anna, our neighbours, Frank, Lee's dad. I know. He's not what you'd expect. No, he's pretty much exactly what I'd expect. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Daisy. Didn't expect to see you. Not going away for Christmas, then? Y yes. Oh, far, far away. To the land of parents. Oh, that's nice. Christmas is a time for families to be together, isn't it, Daisy? Yes. No. <laughs> Maybe. Right. Does anyone fancy a Christmas Eve drink? Well, I don't see why... I don't see why. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have time to go to a bar. Who said anything about a bar? Come into my grotto. There's enough booze stacked in here to kill a reindeer. Is that how you pitch it to the kids? Ladies and gentlemen, just to remind you that as it is Christmas Eve, the store will be closing in five minutes. Honestly, we don't have time. Jack's coming home this evening. Our two-year-old son, Anna's parents have taken him to Lapland. Oh, how lovely for him. Be a nice break for Anna, too. I don't need a break from Jack. No, of course not. Christ, you throw one mug against a wall and suddenly you're seen as somebody who can't cope. <laughs> so, we need to go, Toby, before the store closes. Oh, you don't have to worry about that, love. I've got an arrangement with the security guys. They'll be over a minute when everybody's out and they've locked up. Actually, last week they put different guys on who I didn't know. Ended up having to shimmy up a Christmas tree, climb into a ventilation shaft and get out over the roof. Well, why not? No, we know there's an exit strategy. So what do you do, Toby? 
I'm a doctor. Really? Can I show you something? No. no. <laughs> Drink, Daisy? Oh, just a small one for me, thanks, Frank. I don't want to be drunk for midnight mass. I didn't know you were religious. Oh, yes, I'm not one of these people who only celebrates Christmas once a year. So three days late, Lucy. You booked in for a sweep? What? The obstetrician manually draws aside the cervical membranes to stimulate labour. A sweep. And if that doesn't work, do you send Sooty up? <laughs> <laughs> right. Who's ready for the Christmas present? I'm fine, thank you. I actually believe we've lost the true meaning of Christmas. These days, it's all about spending money. Don't worry about that. He's nicking them. Oh, OK, then why not? OK, Mike, I am done. Time for that Will and Vivi. Mike? Oh. Nothing says Christmas quite like a widow maker 450 ping pong exterminator. <laughs> oh, a teddy bear. How nice. Maybe you could give it to Jack. Really? I was going to keep it for myself and give our two-year-old a bread knife this year. I do have some maternal instincts, you know. Kiss my ass. Oh, how festive. That's not an official store present. No, no. I just keep them on standby in case any of the kids are irritating me. Yeah, because sometimes a geriatric elf wearing women's tights and stinking a special brew isn't quite traumatising enough. Ooh, a baseball. Just what I've always wanted if I was 12 and from Wyoming. Sorry, these presents are more aimed at the kiddies. Oh, wow, craft scissors. How did you know? Toby, we need to go now. No, no, we've got to wait for Bill and Mike. They've got the keys. It'll all be locked up. Well, where are they? I don't know. They're taking ages. Well, I'm not just waiting in here. Neither am I. Do you play baseball? I'm not swapping. 